hi guys uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me may God bless you guys in the name of your, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I just wanted to come up here and say what's up to you guys I wanted to say what's up and may God bless you guys always and if you guys need any prayer requests just tell me and I'll pray for you yeah because you guys know I pray every day I pray to God um for you guys so you guys can be saved and um yeah i wanted to talk to you guys about what i shared on facebook last night like this world guys is perishing like like to be honest with you guys i'm tired of everything i'm very very tired of seeing you know like i'm sick of this world like i'm sick of seeing you know out in the streets two guys two men kissing two women kissing and I don't care if whoever gets offended, but it's the truth. You guys need to know the truth. I'm tired and sick of this. I want Jesus to come right now because uh, this world is perishing. You know, I'm tired of, you know, uh, smelling, of going out in the street, smelling the smell of alcohol, of weed, of cigarettes. Um, I'm tired, you know, of um, false Christians. I'm sick of false Christians playing church. You know, they're being hypocrites. I'm tired of, you know, of um, false preachers, you know, prosperity gospel preachers who teach about money, 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 and less of God. People who don't take the God of the world seriously, folks. So this is why I wanted to come up alive here real quick. Just to tell you guys that, yeah, the world's perishing and that we need to get closer to God before it's too late. We don't know when it's our time, guys. And I really encourage you guys, you know, to get right with God, you know, repent from your sins, give up your sins, whatever sin you're doing, give it up, follow Jesus Christ, folks, please, please, family and friends, follow Jesus, nothing is worth going to hell for, and um, like, I, like I'm saying, I just wanted, you know, to do this live stream real quick, you know. You guys need to look for Jesus Christ He's uh, and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Stop playing games. He's not playing with you guys. This is, you know, for those of you who say that God don't exist, Jesus never going to come because, of course, He's going to come back one day, but the only reason He hasn't came yet is because He's waiting for you to repent. He wants to give you eternal life. Jesus, um, glory to God, He doesn't want to... Um, he doesn't want you to perish in hell. Hell wasn't made for the devil and his angels. I mean, yeah, it was made for not for us, not for the man. Um, Satan, the devil, he's gonna, according to Revelation 20:10, he's gonna be cast into the lake of fire. The beast and the false prophet, they're all gonna be cast into the lake of fire. And in Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 through 15, talks about the great. Um, white throne of judgment that's where all sinners are going to be judged it's going to be a terrible day for sinners I'm telling you guys I'm still going to you know spread God's message I don't care who gets offended if you guys don't like the way I talk or how I express myself um, you could feel free to unfollow me, block me, unfriend me whatever but I must still keep preaching the truth of Jesus Christ I'm still gonna stand up for him. Right now, I'm just preaching online. I'm not like doing it in the streets in person. I know I need to go out there and talk to someone about Jesus Christ today because sooner or later it's gonna be too late. But I'm telling you guys, you gonna need to get right with God. You know, whatever sin you're doing, you're fornicating, having sex before marriage, you're lusting. Um, all these things are gonna get you into hell like I'm sick of this world I, like I said I'm gonna say it again I'm tired of this world like I'm tired of false people people playing church I'm tired of this I'm very very tired you know but Jesus is patient with you he wants you to repent he wants to give you eternal life this is why um he hasn't he hasn't came yet because he wants you to repent hallelujah Glory a Dios, which is glory to God in Spanish. I'm telling you guys, don't play with God because he's not playing with you. So get it right, folks, please. Get it right. You, whoever who's watching me, repent from your sins, stuff. 
doing things you used to do before and follow Jesus Christ. He's going to come one day. He's going to come back and you're going to be left in the rapture. He's going to like pick up his bride. All the true born again Christians are the ones who are going to get raptured. Those are the ones who are living with the, with the, who are going to enter the God's kingdom. The ones who endure to the end, who the ones who pick up the cross late, daily and they follow him. Those are the ones who are going to end up in going to heaven. And the those, you know, who refuse to repent, the those who, um, hallelujah, don't want to give their life to Christ, they're going to end up in hell, I'm telling you guys. If you guys, you know, continue to live in sin, you guys are going to end up in hell. And like I told you guys, you know, I'm tired, you know, of seeing all this stuff, you know, fake pastors that care about money, they don't care about their souls. Like once they have like 600, 700 members, they don't preach about repentance, they don't preach about hell. They don't preach about salvation, only money, God is love, God is love, God is love. I'm tired and it pisses me off. All these people pisses me off. And like I said, you know, I'm not like, I don't hate gay people. I don't. I, I love gay people, but they need to repent. Because a lot of people been attacking me lately saying that I'm homophobic because I don't support um, gays and lesbians. But people need to know the truth. It's not okay to be gay. In school, they tell you that. But that's false. That's a lie from the pits of hell. You weren't born that way. You choose to be that way. And the truth hurts, okay? The truth hurts, I know. I mean, I, when I was in the world before I met the Lord, I used to support that. Um, all that drunkenness, like, I hate the smell of Corona, of Tecate, all this garbage from the world. You know, reggaeton. You know, Daddy Yankee songs, Justin Bieber. I I, I don't like their songs anymore. Because I'm a born again Christian. I, I, I don't want to listen to their songs anymore. You know, every time I hear people... I know it's a little dark here. Yeah, I know, bro. Hey, Stacy and Jonathan. Sorry, guys, but uh, uh, if I go t call you guys back, I'm preaching right now. That's why. Actually, I'm not even preaching. I'm just telling you guys, yeah. T I'm... <laughs> without my Bible because I'm in the dark. <laughs> yeah, today's Labor Day, and to be honest with you guys, I hate I hate holidays. I hate um three day weekends. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I hate it. I don't know, but like today, basically what I did, I I did my homework, hear some music, watch YouTube, and that's all. I didn't do nothing much today, but like I was saying on my Facebook post, I'm tired of seeing two females kissing. It like makes me sick. In Germany, they put a law that you could marry your brother or your sister. That's disgusting. Yeah, man, that is so disgusting. It makes me want. I, I feel like throwing up. You know, when 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 they put the in Germany, like in Canada, you could have sex with your dogs. Yuck! This was perverted, folks. This. I'm telling you guys, United States is in trouble with God. It is. This country is going to perish if, if it doesn't repent. Like, too much racism. Like, racism makes me sick too. I'm tired of racism too. All these, um, I mostly listen to Christian music, uh, at least to be honest. But all this uh, music that promotes sexuality, lust, fornication, that's garbage. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a born again Christian and as a born again Christian, I'm not supposed to listen to these type of music. Hey, hey John. Oh yeah, I was playing with you to tell you to get off of Facebook. I, was, I didn't really mean it. I was just playing with you, bro. It's just that, like I'm telling you guys, I'm sick of, of, of everything. Like, like, I try my best not to be angry because I've been getting angry lately, like. And I'm just facing trials, like, I've been having headaches, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, so, any Christians out there, please pray for me, because I've been getting a lot of, a uh, little, uh, yesterday, I went to church and I didn't eat nothing, all for the glory of God, you know, because I love God, I'll do anything for Him, and I only care what God wants, you know, I don't care what the neighbors on the street wants, like, you know, yesterday, um, I was waiting for the bus. There was this guy smoking marijuana. He was smoking weed. He told me something. And I didn't tell him nothing. Yeah, he was talking too fast. And my mind, I was like, oh, this dude needs to repent. This dude needs Jesus. 
But people, been, my mom, and my sister's been telling me, Brian, don't be telling people to repent because you gotta get your, you gotta get, you gotta get um sock in the face. I know, but yeah, Jonathan, I, I do. I, I hate that smell of weed, and like I'm telling you guys, I, I, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of, of seeing a lot of perversion. You know, like. Like, I mean, encourage you guys, if you guys want to have sex with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, please get married. Condoms don't save. That's a lie, too. That's a lie, folks. Condoms don't save you at all. The teachers from Manual, the teachers from Trade Tech, from LACC, they're liars. They don't teach you guys the truth. I'm telling you, Luis, like... Whoever will tell you that, that, that you could use a condom to have sex with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, it's a lie. That's a lie. I mean, you could, but... I mean, I know it's private, but... It's not in God's eyes. Not in God's eyes. He, he, God wants me to talk about that. Because many of you guys don't know that, that, that condoms are dangerous. It is. It's called fornication. You have sex before marriage. It's called fornication and you will not enter the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9. It's not me. People think that I wrote the Bible. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't. There are men inspired by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit inspired those people to write the Bible, folks. I didn't roll it. Like, I don't know why people are getting mad at me for. Sorry about that. I just don't, I'm here, I just don't feel like turning on the lights. And at the same time, I don't want to embarrass myself, you know, like, I don't know who's gonna, else gonna be watching me later on, but yeah. Oh yeah, those music leads are good, but I'm telling you, the, movie, the music that promotes sex and drugs, they're not good. You know, like, I bet you guys, if Justin Bieber talks about the Bible in the middle of his concert and he preaches about repentance, I'm pretty sure... He's gonna lose a lot of fans. Everybody's gonna stop supporting him. Justin Bieber's not a Christian at all, folks. He, he's a lukewarm. The lukewarmers, God's gonna vomit them out of their mouth. It's Revelation 3.16. Let me show you guys. I'm not lying to you guys. I don't have to lie. The people who knows me knows that I don't need to. Oh, of course, I can't find both. There is. Put the weed. No, I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that, Jonathan. The weeds or the lights? It, because Jonathan say put the. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, you're right. It's just the que ando centro, dude. I don't. I don't want to be showing myself, you know. I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable. I should have changed my clothes before. There you go, folks. Revelation three. Did I skip it? Oh, never mind. I, I, I didn't highlight it. It says here, I know your works, that you are neither cold or hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither nor cold or nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Yeah, no, guys, it's no joke. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing over here. I'm just telling you guys the truth. I'm preaching you guys pure truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat the gospel to nobody. Like, for example, if my girlfriend's cheating on me, and if you know something, I would love you to tell me. I wouldn't want to be deceived. That's what I'm doing to you guys. Because most of people that I have on Instagram are deceived. They think that because they know John 3:16, they're gonna already make it to heaven. No. You could go to church 15, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, or whatever. I don't care. But if you're still living in sin, you're going to end up in hell. And I'm not trying to scare anyone here, okay? I'm not. I'm not trying to scare people. I love people to death, man. Like, you know, I, I love I love the people from the CATS program. I love Edmar. I love Laura Gonzalez. I love um, Luis Barrientos. No, no, like, like as a friend, okay? And the Bible says to love too, Luis. Don't, don't think, um, you know what. Thanks, John. 
I love Edmar Lopez even though he don't love me. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. He needs to repent too. Should I tell Edward Lopez to repent, yes or no? I'll tell him. Who cares if he gets mad at me? Right? I love Edgar Estudillo. I love um, Francisco Velasco, Francisco Guevara. I love them too because Matthew 5... Matthew 5... says that you ne we need to love our enemies. Look, there it is, folks. Love your enemies. Yeah, I love everybody. I love Laura Martinez, even though she don't call me no more. Yeah, Laura Martinez don't call me. I don't know why. I mean, I want, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugar her. I'm not gonna sugar cold, uh nothing to her either. Yeah, uh, who else I love? Everybody in general. Miss Smith, Mr. Miko, um, the neighbor down the street. Everyone, folks. That's why I'm telling y'all the truth because on Judgment Day, um, the Lord's gonna tell me, you know. Oh, you did, Edgar? Jonathan, that's good. Oh, hey, sister. God bless. Oh, yeah, that, I know, Luis. I love Evelyn Soto, too. I love her so much. I love Evelyn. Oh, no, sister. Um, What's your name? I forgot her sister's name. I want to say Chiliani. Yeah. I just don't want to be... I don't want that light bulb to go up, so... I'm gonna turn up the light, sorry about that. I'm not hiding nothing well. I'm in um uh, I am in my undershirt though but yeah I don't want I don't want people to be looking at the stuff so Yeah. Oh that's so nice Luis. That is so nice. Hey sister, God bless. I'm just here, you know, telling the folks that I'm tired, you know, I'm seeing all these, sti all these things, you know. Even in, you know, some colleges, they support that too, you know. Hey Jonathan, you know, since you go to Pasadena, I think you should join the Bible Club if you can, man. You know, you should. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be doing Bible clubs by the end of September, so y'all want to join, just call me. I'll be doing it at the library or at the park because, see, my parents, uh, they don't feel comfortable with me bringing random people over to my house. So, yeah, I want to do it for Jesus Christ. That's all, folks. He sent me to do this, so I have to listen to him. I don't have to listen to men anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of birthdays coming out, Luisito. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. But yeah, that's how I wanted to tell you guys that I'm tired of this world, you know. I want Jesus to come now, but unfortunately, Jesus will come when he wants. Not when I said so. I, I can't tell him what to do. So, yeah. Yeah, sister. Like, I'm telling these folks right here. I'm tired, you know. I'm seeing... You know, a lot of perversion, you know. And this world is sick and disgusting. This is why this girl is out of control. Yeah, I'm, yes, yes, sister. What is your name, by the way? I forgot your name. Sister. Like, there's a lot of perversion, you know, pedophilia, you know, like, where you could get, like, in the Middle East, folks. Um, my eight-year-old, eight-year-old girls are forced to get married. That's disgusting. Oh, Chloe. Nice to meet you, Sister Chloe. In the Middle East, like, these folks don't know this, but I'm gonna say it. In the Middle East, like in Afghanistan, I believe, Saudi Arabia, eight-year-old girls are forced to marry, like, 30-year-olds and 40-year-olds. That's disgusting and sick. It's sick. Like, I feel like, I don't even want to imagine it at all, guys. But I don't know why the world's so perverted, you know. But like I said, you know, Satan been attacking me, the devil been attacking me with my family, with my friends. But he's gonna be cast into the lake of fire. Satan's time's gonna be up. Oh yes, it is, Chloe. Yes, it is, Sister Chloe, like, um... Yeah, I was reading, re I was telling the folks, like, earlier that in Germany... Um, in Germany, 
you could marry with your own siblings, like your a mom and a son could get married. A dad and a daughter can marry his daughter. That's disgusting. That is disgusting, and like I told you, Chloe, I, I don't care who gets mad at me for preaching the truth. I don't care. I don't. And yeah, I'm back at school. And in school, you know, in my school at Trade Tech, I see a lot of people smoking. You know? Uh, by, in my school, and I'm like, y'all need to repent. Y'all like, gotta get cancer. Smoke's no joke. You know, weed, beer, you know, drinking this garbage called Morello, called Tecate, called um, Corona, Bud Light, Budweiser, that's garbage. And I, and you know, I don't care who gets offended by this, but it's the truth. That gotta destroy your kidneys. You know, I have people who die of kidney disease, you know, family members. I don't know if they went to heaven or hell. If they accept their Jesus, they're there in heaven. They ask, if they're not, I hate to say it, but yeah. Yeah, Luis, I have asthma, dude. Like, I, I can't even, you know, stand the smell of weed. Like, when, you know, Jonathan, when I was in my, I know this guy, Jonathan Rangel, he's from my high school sister, Chloe. Me and him, he knows what I'm talking about. Like, dude, you don't even make sense at all. Really? The smell of weed? Uh uh. Nah, dude. I couldn't even, I couldn't even, one time I end up holding my, you know what, uh, I end up holding the restaurant for 45 minutes because it smells like weed over there, you know, Sister Chloe, when I was in high school, I was like 16 years old, the restaurant smelled like weed, I end up holding the restaurant for like 45 minutes, I didn't even want to go inside there, like, I end up covering my nose, and because I didn't want to get in, other when they get involved, you know, they were laughing at me, but like I was telling you, Sister Chloe, I was telling the folks earlier that yesterday somebody told me something. When I was at, waiting for the bus, there was a guy smoking pot and he told me something. He approached me, I don't know what he told me. But something inside of me told me that he was like trying to pick a fight with me, so I let it go. I didn't tell him nothing because I was alone. I was alone, Sister Chloe, and you know. There's demons out there, you know. So basically, folks, I'm not fighting against you guys, you know. Whoever who's watching me, I'm fighting against the demons that are inside the person. Because Ephesians 6.12 say we don't battle against flesh and blood, but we battle against the spirits or something like that. It says in Ephesians 6.12. Oh yeah, Sister Chloe, I'm telling the folks, you know. I'm telling the folks because, you know, teachers been deceiving students that you could have sex by using condoms. In my high school, I saw a girl, I saw two girls, they were carrying like 10 condoms for free. I'm like, what the heck? Oh, no, Luis, I haven't seen it. But yeah, this, this was perverted, folks. The world's perverted and it's sick and disgusting. Like, every time I hear this, I, I feel like vomiting. I feel like going to the restroom, but ugh. Yeah. But yeah, guys, it's no jokes. You know, if I tell you guys about Hellfire, it's because I don't want you guys to end up going right there. Most people say they know, but you know, you guys are going to tell Jesus, I know when you guys see him, everybody's going to see Jesus Christ on Judgment Day. Everyone's going to see him. And you guys are going to remember, my son, Brian Lobos Quintanilla, told you guys about hell and about my judgments. That's what God's going to tell you guys. Those of you guys who are listening. You know, Jesus said that those who have ears to hear, let him hear. And yeah, you know. Yeah, Sister Chloe, I don't know what we're going to do with this world. We just need to endure, right? We have no choice. But yeah, I don't know what that guy told me, Sister Chloe. I just, like, got on the bus and I didn't tell him nothing because the guy was talking too fast. He was like, hi. I was like, what the hell he wants? Yeah. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I even told you know, hey Luis, you know I was telling Evelyn too about God. I was talking to Evelyn that if she wants to have sex with someone, she needs to get married first. I told her that. I don't care if she got mad at me. Uh, I'm not scared to tell Evelyn the truth, Luis. I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm bold enough to tell her because I love and care about her soul. I don't want Evelyn to end up in hell either. I know her for 12 years. Actually, on October it's going to be 13 years I met my friend Evelyn Soto, guys. I know her from Foshe. Yeah, Sister Chloe, there's this girl named Evelyn I used to have a crush on. But sadly, she rejected me. Laura Martinez, um, I know her since 2008. What, what am I saying, 2000? Oh, yes, Luis, she is, but her mom needs to repent, too. Evelyn's mom needs to repent. Laura Martinez needs to repent, and Gonzalez, too. She needs to repent. They all need to repent. I told them. That's why they don't want to talk to me no more. Because they can handle the truth. But yeah, most parents are strict, Luis Luisito. That's true. That's true, folks. You know, there's a lot of special parents who are very strict of their children. But I was telling Evan that, that Jesus said male and female. That's it. No in between, folks. Whoever is uh, telling you guys that, that, that being, like I said, that being gay is okay. That's a lie. That's lies. Oh, yeah. He needs to he needs to be born again. Uh, Nina's then needs to be born again, bro. So yeah, and like, I, yeah, sister Chloe, like you know, for some reason, guys, like I was telling you guys, I hate labor. I hate three day weekend. Too much people getting drunk, getting high. Like, I'm really sick of it too. So yeah, folks, I'm just you know. Warning you guys that John Yeah, hey sister Chia God bless Chia fresh seven God bless you all the way to Nigeria. That's your name sister Yeah, like people die young I passed by Laura Gonzalez house today Yeah, dude, but I, I, I don't know if Laura Gonzalez gonna go to hell bro. I, I don't know because, you know, she's special ed, you know, I don't know how much knowledge she has about God. I don't know. But one thing I know is that she needs to repent. Oh, you're in London and you're from Nigeria. Oh, okay, okay, Sister Chia. I live here in Los Angeles. Yeah, I was chatting with my friends that I know in person. Yeah, I'm just telling um, the folks that we're in the last days. It's Chin Ray. Chin Ray. Oh, okay. Sorry if I can pronounce your name, sister. That's good, Johnny boy. That's good. Chi. Okay, Chi. But no, I don't know. I don't know if Laura Gonzalez is going to end up in. What she better do end up in hell. That's what she blocked me, bro, because I talk about God too much, but I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to listen to Laura Gonzalez no more. I'm not. I don't listen to men. Yeah, like you know, Sister Chi, there's rumors that in my state, California, where I live, California, they're gonna ban Bible. So if you guys don't see me no more, folks, that means, that means, um, I got locked up. So they're gonna have to take the Bible away from me. They're gonna have to kill me, but I am not gonna give away my Bible. I'm not. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus Christ. I'm going to stand up for Jesus because he died for me in the cross, folks. Maybe you guys are saying, oh, Brian's crazy because he talks about God. People told me that before that I'm out of my mind, that I'm crazy. Um, that, that I'm high on drugs. I, I don't care no more, you know. But yeah, you know. No, Sister Chi, for real. People been saying that because I talk about God. They want to, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, Sister Chi. Is they really gonna... I'll see, bro. I'll see. Yeah, you know, like... I've been telling people, John 3, 3, the less a man is born again, 
he cannot see the kingdom of God. And for those of you guys who know who was born again means that means Jesus said that if you want to uh, if you want to enter God's kingdom, you need to be born again. You need to change your ways. Like it's been like a long time. I haven't used bad words. I used to say bad words every day. Yeah, Sister Chi, I want Jesus to come too. And Sister Chloe. I wish Jesus come right now, guys, but sadly, he's patient, you know. Like, 2 Peter 3, 9 says that the Lord is, he's not willing to anyone to perish. He's not willing to, for you guys to perish. He doesn't want you guys to perish in hell. Because some people think that, God, that, that Jesus is bad, that he's a bad God. No, he's not. He's fair. Jesus is fair. And he's patient with you, you know, he's waiting for you to repent. He's waiting for the last sinner on planet Earth to repent. Yes, Mr. Chi, he's, he wants the drunkards to repent. He wants the homosexuals to repent. He wants the uh, drug pot smokers to repent. The drunkards, the fornicators, the idolaters, the uh, revilers, the gossipers. Yes, uh, yes, John. John, oh yeah, it says the Bible is in your name and you too, Jonathan. Your name's in the Bible. I forgot what part. Yes. I just try to lead people here to Christ, folks. You know, I don't want to be popular. Um, I don't think I'm better than any other preachers and pastors. But yes, if your church talks about money, stay away from that church. Stay away. Because Jesus Christ... You know, he preaches the gospel for free. He never charged you a dollar for him to listen to his word. And I'm sick of that. I am sick of, of false preachers. Trust me, if my church ever does things that God don't do, I'm leaving. I'm telling you guys here, I'm leaving. Hey, God bless. Track chart. Brother Sebastian, God bless. I believe that's your name. Warrior 453, but I think he left. God bless you, bro. Yeah, Sister She, I am the, oh yeah, John, God bless the old couples. Sister She, that you know that I'm the only Christian in the household. No one else is, only me. Only me. Oh yeah, Sister Chloe, but I found a good church already. I told my pastor that if he ever preaches about, if he stops preaching repentance, I'm going to leave his church. I told him in, in private in his office. I talked to him like, three or four weeks ago. I wasn't scared of my pastor, folks. I wasn't. Like, the Lord pushed me. That like, you see, he, 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 he speaks to me through my heart. Like, this is why, um, um, why do you guys think I'm in Instagram live right now? Because the Lord told me to talk to you guys about him. The Lord, Jesus Christ, he wants me to do this post every day. That's why. I'm not here, like, to please people no more. But yeah. Yes, Sister Chloe. Yes, God is good. You know, He's so good that He's give, He's willing to get offer us what we don't deserve because we're sinners. We are, folks. We don't deserve His grace or mercy. But um, yeah. You know, He's willing to forgive you guys if you guys cry out to Him and repent. Yes. One of these days, you know, one day or maybe, I don't know when the Lord's going to, oh, God willing. Five years or ten years from now, you guys are going to be seeing me in the streets with a microphone preaching repentance. You guys might see me. I'm not sure, you know, because we don't know when it's the Lord coming. Yep. Yes, bro. Oh, yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, he is working in me. This is why you guys don't see me cursing no more. I don't say my words anymore. I don't look at girls no more, you know. I mean, I love girls, but I'm away from my time, you know. Only it's up to God if God wants me to marry the person I'm with, yes or no. It's not my decision. It's God's decision. So yeah, folks. Well, it was nice talking to you guys. May um, <laughs> that's a funny sister Chloe. Yeah, sí, compa. <laughs> Luis Barrientos. Oh, compa is means friend in Mexico, right, Luisito? <laughs> Compita. Compa. Oh yeah, David Sanchez. Say that too. Remember Jonathan? <laughs> yeah. 
uh, David Salvadorian, I don't know why he called himself compa. I don't know why David Sanchez called himself that. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah, guys, well, God bless you guys in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. And um, if any of you guys want to want me to pray for you, just DM me. Just uh, DM me, message me on Facebook if you have me on Facebook. If you do, just message me if you want me to pray for you, okay? God bless you guys and I love you guys in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom.